Hey guys, it's Kasha here, and I'm going to do another mod review today. I'm in my mod review world. Um, and just, as you can see, I've got the pinkies from Like and Lights Mobs, and my jousts, if you can just see over the hill there, down in the bottom where the sand is. Um, I'm going to, if I find anything, I think it's really cool. I am going to keep it in the world, um, in any mod, but I really like the pinkies and the jousts, so they're staying. The only downside to that is the pinkies are really noisy, but we'll get used to it. Today I'm going to review... Pam's Harvest mod, which I think is really cool. It's more of a me kind of mod. It's all to do with farming and making food and there's flowers and trees and it's just, it's really good. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, I want to make, I've been smelting some stone. I want to make a stone sink, I think it's called. And there's a few different ones. Um, I'll make it first. So it's three stone in the middle and then three iron on either side there we go stone sink and we'll just put it here oops my crafting bench that wasn't good i mean creative at the moment but that's okay right there we go now i could get rid of the cauldron but i'm going to leave it because obviously i may may use it as a cauldron at some point um it's just there for aesthetic purposes at the moment but i'm going to leave it it looks quite cool actually so if i just get a bucket the stone sink if you right click with it will give you a water bucket. Um, so it's like an infinite water source, but just on one block. So that's quite useful. I really wanted that, just kind of because it looked cool, to be honest. But there is a few different ones you can get. Um, there's a water barrel, there's the stone sink, clay jug, and brick well. So there you go. Okay, so I'd already started recording earlier, um, but I lost the footage, so that was a bit of a shame. But... I found some, um, I've just got these bushes here, this is, what, this is what they're like when you um, you see them out in the wild. I went to a new loaded chunk and found a lot of um, new things that the mod had added. Um, and wild rhubarb was one of them, and wild candleberry was one of them. So the bushes are just like this and you click on them. It's not doing it now, I think it's something to do with creative. But um, anyway, um, when I was out collecting things i found some rhubarb which i was really happy about because i absolutely love rhubarb in real life i like rhubarb pie rhubarb crumble rhubarb anything um i'll eat i'll eat rhubarb raw some people might find that quite disgusting but it's lovely with a bit of sugar um so i found some bamboo shoots as well which um i'm not sure what to do with them but we'll we'll have a look some cotton there was cotton bushes candleberry and i was really glad to find them because i was looking into it one of the things the mod adds is candles and they look really nice and there's lots of different coloured candles and I wanted to make them so I looked into it and you need beeswax or candleberry wax and I wasn't sure if I wanted to mess around with bees at the moment but I might have a look at it quickly but I've got my candleberry candleberries um, so we'll, ha we'll make some candles also there's this stuff here which is rutabaga um, we don't really, th this is swede I think um, it's also known as rutabaga, but actually, where I'm from, we call it turnip, which isn't the correct name, but to me, it's turnip, so I've got some turnips. Right, okay, let's go make a farm. So I've got a back door now, by the way, um, and this is where my farm is going to be. So, let's start over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, how cool is that? Doesn't really look like actual root. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm in... I'll set myself to survival. So I've just used one, two, three, four. I'll not cheat. Let's get rid of them. One, two, three, four. Okay. So even before I've harvested them and used them for food and crafted food recipes, this farm looks really cool. Uh, I really like how colourful it is. And also the 3D blocks mod I've got in works really nice with it. Um, it just makes the farm look really, really cool. I really like it. Right, okay, so I was just trying to plant cotton, and you can't plant it straight into the ground, so if I just put it in here, ah yes, cotton seeds. So you have to put them in your crafting area to get some seeds. Right, now let's plant these ones here. Okay, so I've got quite a few things planted at the minute, and also, whoops, over here, this is where I'm going to keep all my food that I've harvested. Right, let's go out and find some grass, because if you just go and click on some grass you should get random seeds um i'm not getting any yet let's go and find some more grass oh 
Ooh, chickens. Hmm, chickens. We might need chickens for a recipe. Right, let's get this grass. Let's see what seeds. Oh, I got some seeds. Oh, just regular seeds. <laughs> a chicken? I must have killed that before. That hasn't came out of the grass. Ooh. Eggplant seed. Ooh. I love eggplants. Like, I don't think I've ever tasted them or eaten them or tried them, but I just think they look really nice. I really should try them. No chickens are following us? Oh, because I've got seeds in my hand. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise. That's so funny. Hello, chickens. Ah. Oh. Okay. I've just had a good idea, and I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Uh, I've got some bones in this chest. Whoops. I don't want that. Let's make some bone meal, and then I don't have to go far. For grass. I'll just do it here. Whoa! <laughs> oh look, it's actually... What's that? Is that just a regular slap sapling? Ooh! So actually, with the grass, it spawns in different things as well. I should have done this before. Is that a sunflower? Right, so it does spawn trees. Oh, here's another one. Ah! Oh. oh, look at that one! I'm not going to be able to use that one, am I? Hang on. There we go. If I just move it further away. Plum sapling. Oh, wow. We're going to have some nice fruit. It's bone meal, that one as well. Now, I think... Oh, I used bone meal. Now, I think I'll be able to harvest that now. Oh, so if you right-click on it, if a love heart appears, like you can see there, that means it's ripe. See, I'm right-clicking on that one. It's not doing anything. So you know when to harvest it. There we go. Plum. I got a plum. Cool. So what's this one? Let's bone meal one of them. Looks like a banana. Oh, it is a banana. Very nice. Whoops. Well, I don't need that anyway. Is that cotton? That's more cotton. Right. Right, okay. So I've just discovered as well, if you put a regular sapling in with the plum sapling, you make a plum sapling. Uh, with the plum, sorry, not the plum sapling. It makes a plum sapling. Now, obviously that doesn't work in real life. Don't try this at home. But in Minecraft, that makes total sense. So, I've got another plum, plum sapling. Now, I'm going to plant some sunflowers outside my house here. I think that would be quite nice, rather than on the farm. Um, but I'm going to put the water underground, just so you can't see it. Right, let's plant the sunflowers. I wonder if you can eat sunflower seeds, because in real life you can, can't you? Oh, you can. Very good. I'll just get rid of that one. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, guys, I've progressed a little bit here. Um, I've got a field full of fruit trees now and nut trees and various other things. I can't remember what's where or I would have shown you around. Um, I've just got lots of different things dotted around, so... When they start ripening, we'll make some really good stuff with that. My farm's really taking shape. There's loads of stuff on there growing now. It started off quite organised, and now I've just pretty much put anything anywhere that I found. I mean, if I had more time, it would be organised. My farms normally are organised, but just for the purposes of this mod review, just get it done quick, just whack the seeds down as I find them. My cold is getting worse. My voice is getting worse. So, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to put up with it. Um... Maybe my cold voice sounds good. I'm moving on. So I've got a few of these and I'm thinking I can probably make seeds out of them. So raspberry. Yep, raspberry seed. I'll keep the rest for crafting. Blackberry. Blackberry seed. Just as I thought. And I'm not sure about mushroom. Oh, it does. Let's make them all into, into seeds. Cotton we know because I've already got some planted. And spice leaf. Yeah, that does as well. We'll leave the rest here. Right, let's plant the rest of these. Okay, I'll be moving on to food very soon, which I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait. I can't fit everything in, but I'll try and find some cool stuff to make. Firstly, there is um, an item that's used a lot in the food crafting part of this mod, which is a cutting board, and it's really easy to make. A stick and an iron ingot, which I'm assuming is the knife, and a piece of wood, a plank, for the
for the board and it makes a cutting board. So there we go, I've got my cutting board. Um, you can place it down and right click on it. And last time I had checked with this, it was just kind of a crafting bench, but I don't know, it might be fixed now. I'll have a look into it. Um, but another way to use it is in some recipes, now I'll just pick this back up. You just place it in the crafting bench with the cutting board and it makes some of the recipes. Like okay, so I've harvested a few of my fruits and stuff and a few bits and pieces from my farm. And I'm going to look at something to make. Um, now, I was hoping I could make some kind of fruit salad. Um, do, 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 do. Fruit salad, you can. Um, I think that's anything else. Fruit crumble, star fruit yoghurt. Uh, we'll go for the, the fruit salad. Let's see how we make that. Whoops. Star fruit art. Here we go, I need, well I need the cutting board, which I thought I might. Um, it looks like you can basically put kind of any fruit you like in the fruit salad, but you need a mixing bowl. So how do I make the mixing bowl? Oh easy, stick some wood, let's do it now. Right, so it was, whoops. Now I wonder if you get the mixing bowl back. I make one first, there it is. If I do get it back, then I won't need to make, make any more. But if it goes away... Right, um, I know I'll get the cutting board back. Let's make a fruit salad with peach and... Peach and... Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Mango. Why not? So it was the peach and the mango here. And then my cutting board and a mixing bowl. A fruit salad! Oh look, we get the mixing ball and the cutting board back. Brilliant. So there's lots of different tools you can use in this mod to craft recipes and food. And most of them I think you do get back like that. I knew the cutting board you did. So let's eat the, um, I'll go back to survival. And let's eat this fruit salad. Oh, and it gave back two or three hunger there. I couldn't quite see. Oh, that was very nice. What else have I got? Um... What's this? Uh, I want to make something rhubarb based. Oh, we have to go for this. Whoops, I accidentally gave myself them. Let's not do that. So I need dough, egg or firm tofu. I'll go for an egg because there's some chickens just, just by me. I can get an egg easy. Ginger, I'm sure I've got some ginger growing on the, on the farm. Rhubarb I've got. So we'll need to make bakeware, which is another tool. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'll get this one back. Maybe I will. We'll try. And sugar, which is really easy to find. I'm sure I've got some around here. Let's make it. Well, I've already made a, um, a piece of bakeware here. Literally, it's literally just the square of bricks there. And there's your bakeware. I'll not make another one. I might not need it. I'll just spawn some dough in. Um, I'll just show you the recipe there. So you need fresh water, a mixing bowl, flour and salt and I don't have any salt or any wheat for the flour and um, you may need a mortar and pestle for that too so you can make this it's it's not hard it seems a bit complicated when you're looking at it but actually once you get into it you'd probably really like it and once you've got all the tools you won't have to keep going making them let's see if I can remember how it goes I don't think I can uh, ginger rhubarb whoops an egg and some sugar. Oh yes! Gingered rhubarb tart. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Ooh, God, that filled me right back up to full. Very nice, and you get your bakeware back. Right, the last thing I wanted to do was make a candle. I'm really looking forward to this. I think this is one of the things I'm gonna keep behind off the mod pack. Um, I'll need my candle berries. Let's make a candle. Just turn it back to day. Now, white, orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, lime, pink. Oh, God, there's so many. I don't know what colour to have. I think I'll go for purple. Let's see what I need for the purple one. Purple dye. So I just need my candleberry wax and string and purple dye. I'll just spawn them in. I really want a candle. Um, candleberry... Oh, I need a pot. So here we go. This is what the pot's for. Iron and sticks. Let's make it quickly. 
bought iron and one stick, was it? Yep, there's the pot. Whoops, I've accidentally spawned one in. That's cheating. Although I am spawning the ingredients in, so... But never mind. Right, I'm going to make some lime candles as well. Because my favourite colour is green. Purple's a close second. So green and purple candles, perfect. Now, I need to make my candle berries into wax. Is that wrong? Oh, is that it? Oh, there we go. There we go. I've got it. Okay, let's make a couple. And I've got some more candle berries outside waiting to harvest, so I'll go and get those. But firstly, let's make our first candle. Ah, yes, that's quite clever. So the string is the wick of the candle. I like that. We need the wax. Oh, look, you can make four white candles with just the wax and the, um, and the string. That's really cool. So it makes four. Brilliant. Oh, that's quite resourceful. I won't need to get any more candle berries, actually. There we go. I've got lime candles and purple candles. I'm really happy with that. Let's go and place them around and see what they look like. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Green. Uh, let's... One place on the carpet. Probably not a good idea to light candles on the carpet. Well, I'll keep the rest for when I've got more things in my house. Um, and I'll decorate them. So I'll just pop that in my chest over here. Okay, guys, I've been cashy. A very ill cashy today, but I'm still cashy nonetheless. And this has been a mod review for Harvest Craft, Pam's Harvest Craft. Um, I've really enjoyed playing around with it, actually. Uh, I came unprepared, which is a bit unusual for me. But I just had fun with it. I hope the mod review is still informative, even though I could I could not cover everything. There was too much. If you want me to go into more things in this in this mod, please let me know. If you want me to do a different mod, please let me know. Um, I'm always open to suggestions, so I'm just let me know what you want me to do. Um, I really, I honestly, it's just so much. It's a really, really good mod. You should install it and just play around with it and see see what bits you like, what recipes you like. I wanted to do ice cream and all kinds, but um, maybe maybe that's for you, for you to try out. So I'll see you later. Bye.